Welcome back to another episode of Small Girl Big Talk. I'm your host, Wendy, and this is the space where we discuss all things about adulthood. And today, you would notice that I have a very beautiful man sitting beside me. Hello, hello. Yes, <laughs> so I actually have Kevin, my fiancé, over here. Like, finally. <laughs> <laughs> So I feel like I've been talking about him a lot on my podcast But you guys have not really known him yet And because right now we are doing this Wedding Diaries mini-series on my podcast yes. And I really need to bring the main star of the wedding that I'm having with Along on this podcast with me to discuss um, You know, like all things wedding planning and all that Like to be honest I don't really have a very clear picture of how this episode is going to be. But Not I just yet. really <laughs> wanted my audience to get to know you, to know the man that I'm marrying. And I guess like to bring them behind the scenes of how our journey is going. Mm -hmm. um, like one year from our wedding now. Yeah, pretty much one year. Lah. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Yeah, it's so cute to hear you here. And somehow I feel like you're like whispering into the mic. I'm not whispering. Okay, so Using Kevin. Using my sexy voice. Okay, my sexy <laughs> Mr. Kevin. Why don't you tell the audience a little bit about yourself? Hello, uh, my name is Kevin. I am a lawyer. I grew I'm from Sabah, Kota Kinabalu. I grew up in Brunei, but uh, now I live here. Everything is in KL lah. My whole life. My love is in KL. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, here I am. Here you are. So, let's get straight into the whole wedding planning discussion, right? Yes. I want to ask you, how did you decide when you were going to propose to me? <laughs> Actually, decided very... No, not to say very early lah. It's just that um, when we first started dating that time, uh, I can't remember the name of the book now. There was this... E-book, I don't know if you remember or not. There was this like audible, audible book I was, I was listening to. Yeah, remember, I remember uh, it was like a relationship yeah, advice book, some right? Relationship advice book. Which I, I was I, very surprised that you yeah. listened to a book yeah, like that. Yeah, and it was because I got free for free, and then like I can't. I heard it from somewhere else. I can't remember what other thing talked about it. So I went and downloaded it, uh, and yeah, I listened to it. And then one, I mean, there were, there were he was like talking about about a whole bunch of things. Uh. one of it was like. Proposing I mean there was like Moving in together And all that So yeah. uh, But uh, I think he said He was saying like uh, It's usually a good time To propose Like after five years Or something Like <laughs> by then You should decide already uh. So That time when, when we first started I also I think I got mentioned also I said like Yeah by five years Then Did like, you then, mention yeah, that? Yeah got, got, Very early I, Very early I said <laughs> It was so early in our dating That I didn't even take note yeah. of it I said like um, yeah, by by five by five years, if everything okay, then I'll probably I mean, we'll probably propose or get married, lah. So it was just like everything is okay. Was there a moment you look at me and you feel like <laughs> mm, she's the one? <laughs> <laughs> Every time. No, <laughs> Every you day. don't. You don't say that. No, because it's like um, <laughs> I only like the I only started probably thinking about it like the year before, lah. And then by then, I think everything is going good. And I love you so much So no. I think that's uh, I don't think you need Any more reason from that lah. Yeah, yeah like, <laughs> No I'm see. just I'm just, yeah. I'm just doing it I For see. the show <laughs> I look at you so cute <laughs> <laughs> You, you. <laughs> I feel like everyone's gonna cringe When they listen to this episode <laughs> We're gonna keep uh, this professional Okay so I, I can't remember who was the first person I talked to Actually It's either Nadia or Or Michelle Sia actually But I know the planning was with Michelle Sia from, uh, from a very early stage uh. So the proposal was in March 2023, right? Yeah And I know you planned it way before that And yeah, how, yeah, how far ahead was it? Like a year? Maybe like a year la, But it was like very Almost very, a year uh, before Very, very loose I think July or something Like the, the year before yeah. But it was like very loose planning la. I just decided like Okay, I'm going to propose and I texted Sia I, I think I texted Sia the first la, I think Oh no, I can't remember now But I told her I told, told her like, okay Propose. Then I came out with a plan. Then started typing, typing in the in the notes. I, I still have the note. No, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. After you propose, I type, right? I type, type in the note. Then I start, started planning out like, what to do. Uh. I think more or less from the start. 
I, Since I like was almost going to, six yeah. months before that, right? More than that, lah. Yeah. Like, uh, easily. But more or less from the start, I already decided I'll just do it at home and whatnot. But then the, the details came out later, lah, slowly, like... I slowly look, look, la, look, look at the stuff I want to buy and everything. Yeah. yeah. And you did ask Vivian to ask me what's my idea. Yeah, at the time when right? you guys... We're when going you, to Penang. Yeah, we're going to Penang. <laughs> and then um, they asked Vivian to ask Wenchi. I think Wenchi. Uh, because Vivian my, was the one who asked me the uh, I think no, they, they were both planning together, la, I think. But I think I was talking to Wenchi. I think. Okay. Yeah. She was, I think Wenchi said she used her sister's, sister's wedding... Uh, ring as an excuse to ask you about oh ring. yeah she did yeah. she did which I did not notice <laughs> or suspect yeah, anything yeah, yeah. at all so, even even when Vivian asked me right uh, I remember it was on a bus ride to Penang hmm. and when she asked me that it's like it's a very normal girlfriend discussion thing so I didn't suspect that like oh it was actually part of the real plan yes yeah so yeah it, it all came together very because mm-hmm. well. I'm a very good planner. <laughs> so confident So good Yeah, so obvious that I knew it That I could counter-propose to no, you No, no, no You knew it because you You butt itchy You go and, go and find out Could have been blissfully happy No, but it no. was too obvious You know when they texted me mm. to, to hang out on the day of our anniversary And I said no That, that was but, it uh, What I do on the anniversary ma. <laughs> yeah, it was our anniversary. Yeah. And and the funny thing is they didn't reply me after that and you just texted mm. me out of nowhere. It's yeah. like, hey, just go ahead with that. I, think, I, I think I think Mitch or Sia texted me, I can't remember. They were like, Hey, I think when they say what well, maybe got a plan and whatnot, go 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 like secure her attendance something. <laughs> 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 like, yeah, but like then I'm quite curious also. What? When I proposed to you. Did mm-hmm. you suspect anything at all? No, I didn't suspect anything at Not all. Not at all, right? Yeah. And at that moment, what was your inner I just, thoughts? I think I was just very happy. Because yeah. normally, we don't get, guys don't get anything, which is very unfair. You know? yeah. More people should counter-propose because we deserve... We, de- we also deserve a ring. Yeah. <laughs> so, so Kevin's someone who really likes things to be very fair, in a way. Yes. And, and I think that's part of the reason why I knew you would appreciate a counter-proposal. Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah, like like yeah. I when I had the idea, I was like, uh, do I do it or not? And I was like, yeah, I think Kevin will like it. Yeah, there's no harm. There's no harm in doing it. Just do it. Yeah, like, everyone will be happy. Yeah, I hope I, I, I hope I hope yeah. I started a, a trend that <laughs> other girls. <laughs> well, uh, Sia, because of that, Sia also bought a ring for Peter. Right, right. <laughs> right? I did, guys. I started yeah. a trend, so I'm very very proud it's of a, myself. It's a good trend. There's only positives, unless your guy ego lah, but. Then that's your own problem. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> when you go find someone like that. <laughs> I can't help you. <laughs> okay, uh, okay. So then now I want to get into like the whole almost like wedding planning discussion, right? So mm. after our proposal, which was in March 2023. Yeah. After that, I think we were just very happily announcing to our friends. We mm. were celebrating we didn't really get right into the wedding planning mode at yeah, all. Yeah, I wasn't interested in <laughs> planning so all. fast. Yeah, so like when uh, you proposed to me at that point, right, uh, You did you have a timeline in your mind on when you... No, I just like proposed like one step at a time. Yeah. yeah. I, I used all my, my planning skills on the proposal already, so like... No time, uh, no no brain space left to plan another thing. Yeah, you you yeah. didn't really have that in no, mind. No, right? I, I wanted to enjoy the engagement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we. No rush. Yeah, and because prior to that, we have been talking about getting married and whatnot, but we never really had like a very clear timeline. No. And financial was also a very big thing for us because at that point when you proposed, I was still in credit card debt. Yeah. So I knew like okay, we really need time to figure out hmm. like what is our budget and whether or not we are even doing a wedding. Hmm. I think at first we were actually very unsure if we want to even have a wedding first. Yeah, actually at first I just want to get it over with. But then, no, I think in my head I wanted to do a small, small one. Like just not, 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 not like a big one with everything. I think from the start, even if we, want, we were going to do a I memang didn't want to do like a big haul. Yeah. Uh, it was then, never actually. It was never yeah. for me. Also. Yeah. 
Like I knew Fight my family Yeah <laughs> <laughs> Sorry families But we no. We never really wanted Use to the do. money Use the money for other things Yeah I remember you said before also That mm. your cousin Hong Kai ah, yeah, Advised Hong Kai, you Coco, right? yeah. He told me Like no need to do I cannot I cannot want I cannot need to do Because he first He's the first born You know he do I save the money <laughs> Yeah the, the good thing is Both of us are not The first born Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Kevin has an older brother Who had an official Like banquet style yeah, Last af- year Last year after, Which was after the pandemic Yeah it got delayed la, But uh, eventually He still went ahead And did it Yeah, yeah. And, and for me I had two older sisters Who already did it yep. uh, In their ways also So our, my parents also were pretty chill about it. Yeah, I'm very um, grateful for that. Yeah, we are we are very, we are very lucky in that mm, sense. No pressure. Yeah, but then that said, right? Even though we were unsure that we wanted to have a banquet or not, but I think for me, after a lot of discussion, after many months, right? It was like, mm, I think I want to do it mm. because I think it is an excuse for me to gather all the people that I love. Yeah. In one space. Yeah, and that was, and I think you felt the same way. Eventually, la, yeah. Because yeah. when eventually I got used to, at first it's like fuck it, la, but then eventually I got used to the idea and I was okay, la, just gonna make a party out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think what we <laughs> yeah. were both very excited for is like having a party. Yes. Yeah, and I much. think I think that's what I like about our relationship also is that we both are very people, people. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it was this Chinese New Year. Okay, I'm, uh-huh. you wanted to say something. Well, no, I didn't. No? Say, yeah. Okay. It was this Chinese New Year during Chap Gome when we were gathering like our <laughs> friends in our house, right? So many. Yeah, I think it was, we have a very small space and we hosted about 20 of our friends <laughs> in this house. And we were both very excited about it. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. And, and we had fun. And that was when I'm like, you know what? I think I'm very excited for this wedding. Because mm. I realized that we both really love having our friends over and just celebrate. Yeah. Yeah. It's very fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, they want another party. I mean, one guy wants another party, but yeah. Let's <laughs> we'll yeah, see how. <laughs> we have requests for parties, so. <laughs> <laughs> party people. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we decided that we wanted to have a small wedding. But of course, then yes. there's the expectations from family side that comes in. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Luckily, my, my older brother cut that down. But then there's still. Still something uh, No choice like I guess The the main wedding will be What we want to do mm. But then after that We still have to uh, like, Go back to Our hometowns Our so, sub- uh, yeah. yeah When they have to go back To Batu Pahat Then I I mean we have to go To Batu Pahat Then I have to go To my side KK But I don't mind that I, okay, like, I guess I don't mind it As much We just Because We're just going to do A simple one over there So it's fine Yeah, yeah. Like I we've, we've kind of like Manage the expectations Towards yeah. the The smaller oh, yes. Celebrations That we are having Just in, do at home In our hometown <laughs> Yeah So like The plan is actually to For for Kevin's hometown We're actually just Putting out like a buffet Outside his auntie's house Yeah Yeah much. Which is where they usually have Their, get, uh, their mm. gathering During yeah, Chinese yeah, New Year Every Chinese New Year It's got massive that. Gathering always over there Yeah And, and mm. for my side We are just going to do Like a Like a Chinese restaurant thing yeah. Mainly because we don't want to deal with the cleanups and all that. My house is quite small. Mm. Um, but like even with the Chinese restaurant thingy, we are not going to do the full banquet thingy mm. with like yeah, bridal tables. gown and all that. Yeah. Uh, not really. For us, it's really a matter of like giving respects to our relatives, yeah. letting our parents show face a bit. Mm. <laughs> um, and and the tea ceremony. La. I think the yeah. tea ceremony is the ma- most important thing for us. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, so... Um, even for our actual wedding itself, mm. we are keeping things very simple. Yeah, actually. So simple, I also don't know what else to plan. Really. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of things in mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kevin wants to keep it very, very simple. Yes. But like say, even like the traditional elements or so, right? Mm. Um, we are only doing the Chinese tea ceremony. Yes. Yeah. We're not going to do the gate crushing, not going to do the gota li thing. Yeah. Yeah, I know, just not yeah. yeah, thank goodness. And even <laughs> <laughs> there's there's so much discussion that has to go into it. Yep. And a lot of my friends were always kind of like reminding me that like whenever your parents say that it they are very easygoing, just mm. do it however you want. My friends all have warned me that be clear with them. 
mm. on on what they actually want because yeah. even though on the surface they may say that it's okay just do it your way and all that yeah. they may have different expectations yeah maybe but since they're not involved in the one in the KL one this will happen to us like I hope yeah because KL one not def- it's all our friends so. yeah but do but you think do you Hawaiian think maybe? we will have trouble <laughs> not trouble yeah. but like last minute requests yeah just be firm I don't know I'll be I'm my dad's favourite I'm, <laughs> I'm going to play that card <laughs> I'll just be firm Actually no I mean most of the time he would, he would just let me do what I want uh, I feel definitely. like your dad He's very easy going uh, But your aunties Would sway his Yeah mind. They'll try la. Like but his I'll, sisters right I'll Ask Kenneth to help me as well Ke- <laughs> Kenneth as in Kevin's brother yeah, right? My older brother Yeah He's the one that At first they almost Convinced me to like have Like have, almost convince us To do it like this This coming Chinese New Year Like have the one KK first Then my older brother Is like no Never mind la. Just do the KL one first, then you think about the rest. Yeah, thank goodness <laughs> your brother was on our side. For us, honestly, right? No when, yeah, <laughs> when it comes to this this timeline and this planning, it's also kind of like how we manage our cash flow. Yeah. Like, so we are planning to do the one in KL first, yep. which is a sm- small one with our close friends. Yeah. It's not that, that small. Small, I mean, small but not 10 that. tables. Yeah. 10, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 100. Yeah. 100 so packs ish. Uh, with our close one, friends, yeah. a cozy one. Yeah. Th- after that, like the plan is really to use the angpao money from that to manage the cash flow for the yeah. next one and the next one. And save some for the honeymoon. Yeah, hopefully we still have money for the honeymoon. <laughs> I want to go to Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Any sponsors? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's the name of that air- airway again? Shit, what's the Japanese airline? A N A. Uh, ANA, uh, I ANA. hope you're listening to us right <laughs> now. We really want to go to Japan for our honeymoon. Yes, please. <laughs> but yes, um, one of the things that I wanted to discuss is like, how did we decide on the budget? Uh, how did we decide on the wedding dates and wedding expectations? Hmm. Yeah. I think the budget, actually the budget increased already. At first you said 20. Actually, I There's didn't no even, way. Yeah. yeah. And then it went to 40. Yeah. So that's the wedding budget, uh, 40 year. Uh. Yeah. Which I guess is okay la. Which but is very, very to... small Yeah, but Yeah, we but are because we are also having a small wedding yeah. So it was We are hoping that it's doable Yes I um, hope it doesn't go overboard I am saving and scrimping <laughs> Yeah, Kevin's doing lo- working hard Yeah, doing, doing a lot of side stuff yeah. hey, hey. We have to do that But I'm, I'm quite mm. proud of us, to be honest Like, I mean, for me also mm. uh, From, like, from credit card debt yeah. To... No more negative To now positive hmm. But it's It's very annoying also la. Like for me to be able To save so much money right It all goes to that one wedding Yeah la. Like if it's not for the <laughs> No I do <laughs> I mean in a, in a very selfish yeah. way Or like self-centered way right A part of me also would think like Wow This money could have been Put more towards like my business Your honeymoon Or other things Kevin's <laughs> just like Honeymoon, honeymoon, honeymoon Your holiday <laughs> That's what my cousin said so. Yeah Use the money go on a trip <laughs> Yeah But I also want to yeah. Party and celebrate with everyone I do Me too Stupid yeah. friends I don't like you guys Yeah but yeah So so we We kind of like Came up with a budget That we both feel Comfortable to aim towards mm. And I remember We also kind of had the Discussion where we are like, okay, so every month, how much do you feel comfortable putting in? Like yeah. allocating from your income to that. And at that point, when I was still clearing my credit card, I remember there were a couple of months that I couldn't even commit to mm. the wedding fund, right? Yeah. yeah and I, I felt so like ashamed and like so stressed <laughs> out. But eventually things catch yeah, up. I didn't, yeah, I, I know pressure. So yeah, it's. I just put in what I can as well. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean the the side stuff helps. Yeah, a lot. and and we're doing very okay. And mm. definitely, when my dad offered to also sponsor some part of the wedding, that yeah. that really takes off the pressure yes. from us. Actually, like, yeah, no, don't stop saving now. So enough already. No, <laughs> but but so that's I the know, thing, lah. La, like yeah. ideally, even though they offered, um, the plan is like if I can don't touch. Use that for holiday. Oh, uh, not touch yet. <laughs> Kevin's still hoping. Use that for holiday. <laughs> for his honeymoon. <laughs> not his, it's ours. Yes. It's ours. I do want to go to Japan too. Yes. Yeah. And wedding dates, how did we decide on that? You had a lot of issue with a wedding date. Because for me... What issue any, did I have? Any date was okay with me. 
when you go in and look at the Chinese calendar, <laughs> then your butt itchy. You see the Chinese calendar, see what auspicious, inauspicious day la, this and that la. It wasn't a very very big deal. Okay, so <laughs> you no. Okay, but okay. Number one, we were uh. not that superstitious that we needed to give like our birth dates and time to yeah. calculate the pachu thing and all that stuff. We didn't really do all that. No, but to be safe, I think for me it's like I'm worried that if we were to choose. An inauspicious date on the Chinese mm-hmm. calendar, right? If anything happens, I'm worried the elderly, like our parents or our auntie uncles, would say something yeah. that you didn't respect our Chinese custom. You see, this is what <laughs> happened. Your your young people, your young people Let do them things say, like that. Uh, already not doing so many things. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> They're all the way yeah. right? so, very so far. it was just that So I was just looking <laughs> yeah. into like Literally you just google Chinese calendar And yeah. you can find all these like yeah. Doodle calendars See Which are pretty much a digital version Of those yeah. pear paper I calendar our, you know? our date is like Ghost, fest, ghost month and I think. Yeah it's, it's yeah. actually Chinese ghost month uh, I was already got one stupid friend already say Oh where in ghost month I said the fuck up la. No but the calendar says It's auspicious <laughs> Yeah for la, I told him He's like oh quite Western people make a calendar I said, <laughs> like, you No go but do, it's la. actually The same calendar As the one that your dad sent us yeah, Actually yeah. The, dad, the, the date that we chose Your dad sent us that too Yeah That yeah, was when so I'm like Okay lah like that we chose this the, He probably just Google us so. Exactly <laughs> right Like maybe he searched yeah, On a Chinese maybe, version of Google yeah. Actually, all these things is just a matter of perspective, lah. Yeah. I always tell Wendy because uh, my fr- uh, know, my 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 boy Nara he told me, uh, for the Hindus apparently the ghost month is like a a good month for them to get married like, or like to start something new, some or move house, something like that, lah. Why, ah? Uh? Uh, it's just their 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 religion says you that, mean, la. You mean the Hindu religion has ghost month also? I mean, in that same span, that, that same, same time, period of time. Yeah, that same period of time. Okay. It's not the ghost man, it's our ghost man. It's our, like yeah. the Chinese ghost man. Chinese is his ghost man, right? yeah. But for for them, it's like a good man to do stuff. Yeah. And, so. and even with like, if you were to look at the parts calculation and all that stuff, right? Mm. So I heard from Hui Wen, because she has a feng shui master who helps them with their house. Mm. And every year when the feng shui master is like, you know, recalculating or looking stuff, looking at stuff for their yearly feng shui <laughs> arrangements. Yeah. Um, every year the person would be like, so you guys planning to get married this year or not? Uh-uh. And then, that like past few years, they are like, uh, nah, not really. And last year, I remember last year, the feng shui master is like, yeah, it's okay. This year is not a good year for you guys anyway. Mm. But this year, the feng shui master like, if you guys are thinking about it, I think you should do it this year. Then, um, but one thing I learned about it, right, is mm. that the date that matters the most is the ROM date. Uh. It's not like the Chinese... Uh, Ceremony quota li or yeah. the what, how do you call it like bringing the bride home? Jie Jie Xing Xing Liang, Jie Xing Liang, yeah. yeah. I, I don't know how they and say that's, that. Those, those things are like the same, the, the, the big day itself. Yeah, but then yeah. some Chinese, you know how they even the time of the bride arriving at the groom's house, yeah. it matters also. They say one lah, but most of the time also. The timing, they always the timing also lah. They always right? miss out <laughs> the timing anyways. Yeah. But yeah, so. That was a fun fact for me That the date that matters the most Is the ROM date Like the date that you actually registered <laughs> The god also look at the legal marriage <laughs> What's that? Even the gods are looking at the legal marriage <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean what's the point of a whole wedding If you're not legally yeah, wedded right? Yeah, yeah. yeah but Oh yeah Then when do we want to do our ROM? So we say Chap Gomer <laughs> Should we do Chap Gomer? Or should we do the wedding and uh, dating anniversary? Then one, one last date. I, I don't uh, know. We are both okay. are so okay. La. I think both are okay. Mm-hmm. We are still thinking about it. We finished the courses because apparently I have, we have to go through the premarital courses because we will get married at the church. So. Yes. Yeah. Kevin is excited. <laughs> <laughs> the silence there speaks yeah. every six volumes. Okay, but, mm-hmm. but to be fair, we both decided that we want to go through this. I mean, of course, it's prerequisite to yeah. go through the church's premarital counselling, but we also think that it's uh, a good thing for us to go through. Yeah, I just don't like the idea of going to class. But, yeah... <laughs> Uh, so much class. <laughs> <laughs> so sick of classes. But okay, la, I mean, get through it. La. Should be okay. La. Yeah. Uh. We think that it will be a good thing for us to go through the premarital counselling mm. or like any courses, basically. Um, because I think that will help us discover conversations 
or like get into conversations that we didn't know we should have before we get married. Yeah. Like to better prepare us for a marriage lah. It's true. It's okay lah. We we'll get through that. <laughs> <laughs> you sound so sian. Yes. Yeah. Because S- class. Yeah, you hate classes. I hate classes so much. Okay, okay. So to be fair, classes. right? Because <laughs> in the process of becoming a lawyer, yeah, oh Kevin <laughs> studied very long. Yeah, oh my God. Yeah. It took me three tries. It took him three tries. Struggles. To <laughs> become yes. a lawyer. Yeah. So, I, I get it. For me, I'm quite okay. Because <laughs> I haven't been studying for a while. Because she's a nerd. Hey. <laughs> nerd. Okay. okay. <laughs> Anyways, wedding expectations. Party. <laughs> yeah, you see, it's so obvious, right? Like for Kevin, when it comes to this wedding, right? Uh, it's really just about drinking and partying. Pretty much. Right? Yes. What other things that you're excited for? Getting married to you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he just Got threw him. the bomb there. <laughs> Got him. Yeah. yeah, my friends are so excited. Yeah, your friends are very <laughs> excited. Yes. Every time we yeah. like they would come over for drinks, right? And then they'd be like, Oh my yeah. god, I'm so excited for your wedding. I'm yeah. like for real, <laughs> more excited. <laughs> it's my wedding. I'm not as excited as you are. It's because they love me. Yeah, they love you. I, I honestly think that if there's no if you guys are not straight, you guys would have gotten married. <coughs> <laughs> Can't get In- me instead of me. I deserve better. Yeah, so so I guess so I guess yeah. For you, it's the party, it's the drinking, and um, the drinking getting married. It's a nightmare <laughs> for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm so scared that it's it's okay. It's really scared now uh-huh. that like you would be like wobbly wobbly <laughs> walking down the aisle with me la. not so early that la. will be my wedding nightmare that's like the later part la, maybe early no la. early control la. Yeah. make them drink for me yeah. I, I've spoken to Nara uh-huh. which is the best man uh, that past a certain time only yeah. they can get you drunk yes yeah I think that's fair yeah like <laughs> after all the important ceremonies are done after all the speeches and everything then you can go yes ham. I think that's very fair. I think it's fair. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> yes. I, I did. Was, I think Can it was last ahead. weekend. Did I see Nara last weekend? Yeah, the Nicholas. Yeah, yeah. So, Nicolas so he, he did. Yeah, we, we, he brought it out. Yeah, I was like, okay, not that early in the day, but like say past mm. 10, after the after, when during the after party. Mm. But like the first hour of the after party, I want to take some photos and videos too. So just mm. not. I think we can have fun. Lah. Yeah. That would be like the early stages of drunkenness where you're mm. still. In control Buzz <laughs> Buzz 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 Yeah I hope I don't get too drunk buzz, as well buzz, buzz. Yeah, So For Kevin It's all about the partying And the drinking Yes What about you? For me It's It's the wedding speeches hmm. It's the vow <laughs> It's Being able to Celebrate with my family or so. Mm. See, I'm tearing up already. Yeah. I tell you. So, mm. right? Even now, thinking about my wedding, <laughs> I cry already, one, you know. Aye. So, I don't even know <laughs> how am I going to survive my wedding day. Aye. So silly. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Okay, I also, I also very emotional. Yeah. So, we both yeah. are very emotional people. I cry a lot. He cries a lot. <laughs> Watching shows, lah. Yeah. In general, no. <laughs> yeah, I love. I'm the kind of person who likes to watch, go on YouTube and watch like other people's proposal or wedding speeches, <laughs> and then I cry along with them. <laughs> so like, I'm looking forward to that whole thing, uh-huh. Um. So that's number one. Uh, which is why. I have expectations to have videographers on our wedding. Yeah. Because I love watching these videos. And and I was telling Kevin this because for Kevin, I think having a videographer doesn't matter as much. No, it's much. like an additional expenses, if yeah. anything, and it's not cheap, right? Um, but it's one thing that I really want. And he mm. had to compromise and accept that for me, it's a non-negotiable for the wedding. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But but I'm I'm trying to be fair as well, uh. So like I'm not gonna go crazy with like oh having a Vera Wang wedding dress. <laughs> yeah. Or anything like that. So I need to allocate my budget properly. Yes. Um to get that done. I'm also excited for like the whole wedding experience for our guest. Mm. So like um It's a very interesting the, place as well. Yeah, the door gifts, 
um, the decorations? Mm. What are the activities they can do? Do we have space for a photo booth or like some voice recording thing? Because we have a very small ve- venue. Yeah, photo um, booth maybe not. I don't not. think there's space for a photo booth. The voice recording thing maybe can. La. Yeah. But we'll... Uh, We'll let's see let's how, see how, how we, we can yeah. get creative with that. I have a spare phone. I have two spare phones. Yeah, <laughs> but does it look aesthetic or not? We can we can <laughs> use paper machine? Can it's trying to. <laughs> I'm trying to ski. I'm trying to like. Yeah, we can we can make it an within. arts project to, yeah, to see it. It's paper machine. Or just get sponsors. Yes. Hi again. <laughs> this this hit whole me, episode is me, me trying to <laughs> get sponsors for everything. Yes. Yeah, but like for real though, if you are a wedding vendor. Or yes. if you know someone who is a wedding vendor who you think would be a good fit for us, mm-hmm. um, and if there's any way that we can collaborate, please drop me a message. Yes, I would really like to work with you. Um, okay, that was not part of the plan, but <laughs> I just had to throw that in here right now um, because we want to save whatever we can for our yeah. wedding. Um, I'll give you a good review. <laughs> yes I, have many I mean <laughs> on Honest review I have many single friends That will eventually get married <laughs> Yeah I, No But like, that's, that's one of the reasons I feel like I'm uh, I would be a very good person To sponsor Because our friends Are all getting married Yeah And and most of my audience Is really at like 25 to 35 years old yep, Like yep. the prime Working adult Wedding age Yeah Yeah So like These were the things That I have in my notes mm-hmm. um, I think one more thing That I think we can Kind of like discuss also Is when Our parents met oh. So so because uh, Kevin and I Are We both live in Kuala Lumpur now Right Here in Central Like Malaysia mm-hmm. And my family Is in Batu Pahat Which is like Southern Of Peninsula Malaysia And Kevin's dad yeah. Is all the way in another land He's in Brunei <laughs> Across the sea in yeah, Brunei Yeah, in Brunei um, Ma- So our, our parents had never met before Yes Before like We arranged for it mm-hmm. To happen yeah. And it was this June Actually, how did that happen? Like, why did your dad suddenly want to do? My auntie <laughs> Right? <laughs> my auntie asked me Hey, haven't, haven't met? I said, oh yeah, haven't met <laughs> Yeah But apparently it's normal like, Some people that even They meet on the day itself you know? Yeah. No, I've I've heard uh, <coughs> quite a few friends Their parents first met during the menu tasting ah, so For the Chinese yeah, restaurant That would like be that. when the, yeah. their parents first meet Okay, la, we, we went I mean, my, my aunties also want an excuse to come holiday so, la, That's why <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah So then so, we, yeah, we, we kind of managed to arrange it la. Yeah, arrange it very, very quickly I arranged it yeah, yeah, it was a very wholesome yeah. trip, I would yeah, say Yeah, very fun trip Yeah so, but My dad <laughs> forgot to forgot to tell you Tell your dad, my dad, to speak Malay. Yeah, so so, <laughs> so that's the funny thing because my dad only speaks English and Hokkien. Yep. And Kevin's dad only speaks Mandarin and Hakka. And Malay. And my dad speaks Malay too. I mean, every uh, Malaysian yeah. or Brunei speaks Malay. Mandarin, Mandarin and Hakka. Yeah. yeah. So um, our dads weren't able to communicate. communicate. Yeah, not as much. <laughs> they sit there quietly. Yeah, it was it was like <laughs> it was so funny. you know how you go, you go dine in a Chinese restaurant, sit on the, uh, the round table, and everyone's just like awkwardly laughing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but luckily, aunties aunties came. Uh, both my aunties, yeah. my youngest, my my dad's younger sisters, both of them, Achin Kuku and Atai Kuku, they can, they uh, they they can speak English better. And then uh, at the same time also because when this mom can speak Hakka, yeah, so I think they worked out lah. Yeah. Uh, they, oh my! My mom and my grandma are so yeah, excited so to meet Kevin's <laughs> family. Yeah, too excited. Um, I think it's like a Chinese Hakka pride. Yeah. When they get to meet like another Hakka, another Hakka. Yes. And they were so excited to talk about it all, but it was. No matter what, it would still be awkward. La. Okay, mm. I think the days leading up to it, I was like, yeah, everyone's so... F- because I knew both of our families are very easygoing. Yeah. So I didn't have much to worry about. Because mm. like, I know no one's going to be like making it hard for anybody and all yeah. that. Uh, although I feel like my mom did kind of go very like... I think your mom just stressed herself out. My mom OCD, <laughs> la, right? Um, she bought a lot of stuff. She which bought, was nice. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We also bought some stuff there, la. Yeah, and I mean your your dad also your aunts and your dad also mm. like brought they brought like fresh fish frozen mm-hmm. they flew it across the sea yeah. here to, to, to give to my family fish. and all that 
<laughs> one more fish left. One more fish left for yes. us. Um, but yeah, like it was very sweet as well for your dad to like. I remember mm. when your dad came to my house, he just like brought like, oh, this fish is for you guys. Like, I was like, <laughs> what a fish? Yeah. <laughs> expensive fish. Yeah, yeah, but well, it's a good like fancy grouper yeah, or like yeah, seven yeah. star grouper. I don't know what name. So yeah. star, I remember we were we were googling it. Mm. Um, but it was it was fun. It was nice. Mm. Um, I think the next time that they would meet would be the wedding day itself already. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah, around that time. Yeah, they should be all up in Kale already. Yeah, yeah. And fun. I'm really excited for my family to meet Sean. <laughs> yes. Uh, Kevin's nephew He's so is cute. very cute. Also, call me Susu. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so cute. So small. Yeah. Yeah. So. I think that's that's all. What else? Um, I know my sisters are very excited for mm. our wedding. Also. My brothers haven't said anything. So. I think brothers are just. <laughs> yeah, brothers. I don't think they'll say anything. <laughs> yeah, but like Kenneth did change our group chat into like the uh, wedding yeah. date, so yeah. I guess I I take that as a sign that <laughs> uh, it's his way of expressing yeah. he's excited for it. Uh, it's the next yeah, big thing that you get to kind of like beat. gather with your brothers and yeah, whole family. Yeah, see them often. Yeah. yeah. Okay, what else about the wedding? Mm. Okay, so there's one thing what? that I've been thinking about the wedding, but I don't know how to bring this up. Um, and I thought, I thought it would be a good question to ask you now. Mm-hmm. So one thing that I really want to do in our wedding, right, is to honour your mum. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I don't know how to do it. I sort of know. <laughs> huh. My mom passed already. Mm. Mm. We need to think about it more. I can I don't know. It's not a good thing. But how? Yeah. Do you how do you feel? Okay, I'm gonna dig that right cry. there. I see I'm seeing <laughs> him. Cry. His tears is coming out already. <laughs> how do you feel about all this? Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Both of us, the tears just straight yeah. coming out because we are really empaths. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't thought about it. Of course, last time when I, when I thought about it, I was sad. I mean, every time there's something big that happened in the family, I'd be sad because my mom's not here. Hmm. But for the wedding, I haven't really think anything. But now that you mention, I guess we could figure something out. Yeah. It's, it's, it's always been part of my plan. Now. Yeah. I just... You see? This is why. <laughs> How to talk. <laughs> Are you crying? <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> something that we really, I really wanted to do lah. Mm. And I know you you would want it too, but you see, this wedding is gonna be so tearful. <laughs> <laughs> Need tissue. Need tissue. Someone like I have someone beside me that's always holding tissue. You know what? What? I I saw this uh, Instagram reel. Uh. This wedding. This. Uh, bride's wear- uh, this bride was wearing a wedding gown that has a pocket. <laughs> so it was in the middle of her wow, uh, her vow, that she took the tissue out from her pocket. <laughs> and the officials like, she has pockets. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay. Uh, Ideally, I want my wedding gown to have pockets too. Yeah, I think that's genius. Yes. Um, yeah. Hmm. So I guess like you guys could tell that this wedding is going to be a very emotional one for us. Yes. Obviously, because we both are very emotional people. I'm looking forward to your vow. <laughs> I'm stressing out about mine. The wedding is one <laughs> so year fa- from now. Why you now. stress so fast? No, but like... <laughs> I haven't even thought about the vow. Every time I watch, I think about it, I was like, oh my God, I want to go. <coughs> oh, you know what I want to do? What? You know how some couples, they do like the first look thing uh-huh. um, uh, where they, they record the moment of when the groom sees the bride in her dress, mm-hmm. in her gown. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, some people, they do it like they prank where the groom turn around and it's his best friend in the gown and all that. Yeah. For me, I feel like it will be very interesting to do the first look with my family. Mm-hmm. Not you, sorry. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Not you With my family I don't know whether your family You would want to do A first look with your parents I think I think no need I think no need Uh, But I feel like I would want to do that Because My whole family Is super emotional Uh I think When they all see They will all be crying already (laughs) Yeah because back in Michelle My my sister's wedding Uh The moment she walked Down the aisle My entire family Is like Oh (laughs) 
<laughs> crying like crazy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I feel like that's that's one of the things I want to do. So, mm. yeah, yeah, I could do it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, anything you want. <laughs> <laughs> really, yeah, anything I want. Ah. Nah, not everything you want. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin's stressed. Anything reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, I guess I guess that's. I think we can wrap up the episode here. Mm. Um, we are obviously at the very early stages of our wedding planning. There's still like technically eleven months yeah. plus from now, and we've already booked the venue. Yep. And the food is from from the venue already. Yeah. So so, so we we got the, a hotel. The two stresses with with food included. So that's good. Um. I yeah. think I have an we have an idea of the rough agenda that we want, hmm. but that's that's pretty much where we are now. Yeah, yeah. nothing much. Yet. We we should be I mean, doing more. The big more things work. are done, uh, but yeah. yeah. Like look, I we are like sourcing like vendors for photographers for videographers. Hmm. I have a few like fl- florists in mind, wedding gowns places in mind, hmm. um, but no firm decisions yet. I'm just procrastinating. Yeah. Um. But I think we probably should start setting deadlines I guess. to do certain things uh, so that we don't regret it next year. It's like, oh my God, we had <laughs> one year to plan and we didn't do shit. Yeah. Right? So that's where we are now. And do the menu testing. <laughs> that's, that's, you don't need to do that that early. <laughs> you just want to eat. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we can, we can do the menu testing. But anyway, so to wrap up this episode, I guess, like coming back to, I remember what RJ said in the first episode of this series as well, um, is that, you know, when it comes to your wedding planning, when it comes to your proposal, everything, it's really at your own pace. Mm. And, and I think I really like what we did, which was we took our time, we look at our finances, yes, and then we decide whether it's something that we want to do or not. And mm. when we were able to decide, like, okay, I think we can do it. We, we knew we can do a small one, not a big one that we would feel comfortable to commit to. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how we kind of, like, work towards it. So, during this process, there will be a lot of people that are going to tell you, like, uh, why, why so slow? Why is the wedding so far away? Why are you not doing... Your wedding or my wedding, bro? Yeah. So that's the thing. Like, just, just remember to... <laughs> so fierce. Kevin, so fierce. Um, Girl, yeah, just, violence. Just <laughs> he woke up and chose violence. Yeah. Um, yeah, so... You're distracting me, like you. Um, so yeah, do it at your own pace. And I'm very glad that I found a partner who is very aligned with me in... Maybe like 80% of the things. Now with that attitude. <laughs> <laughs> the other 20%, I need to convince him, like, you know, to get videographers, to get nice decorations. The place is already very nice. Yeah, we have a very nice yeah. place. But I still want flowers. Yeah, a bit. Lah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I guess that's it. You, I hope you guys enjoyed having Kevin's uh, presence over here in the podcast. Yes. So now you guys know the guy that I'm about to get married to in a year's time. He's a capybara. Yeah, and so if you guys like seeing Kevin on the podcast, do let me know on Instagram or you... I, I always have this form where you can submit requests or topics or give feedback as well. So feel free to fill up the form if you have any requests that you would like for Kevin to come back on to talk about. That would be very interesting. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> how, how did you feel about being on this podcast? Okay, la, I mean, just a conversation. I didn't expect it to flow quite okay, but yeah, I think it worked out quite well. Yeah, I was actually 45, quite nervous having yeah. I was actually quite nervous having you over. I saw handsome um, distract people. No. Your voice so nice. <laughs> you probably cut this part out. <laughs> No, I'll probably keep it in (laughs) Just for them to see the real you Um, Yeah Bye (laughs) We just set them off Thank you for coming over Bye-bye everybody Bye